Welcome to Beaded Doilies by Shell. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I convert a peyote pattern using bead tool into the right angle weave, or I mostly use the cross weave, which is the two needle version. Um, first thing I do is I go into view options and I check my bead width and bead height under pattern. And I like mine set at eight and 11. Um, that works best for my screen setting. You might need to do it slightly different depending on your screen setup. And then, um, oh, for, for the peyote, I set it to brick stitch and the column is two times the number of beads per row. And the row is the number of rows in the peyote pattern. And then I'm going to use this to keep track of where I am. Uh, but first, I forgot, we need to make the graph that we're going to convert it to. So to do that, what I do is um, the first row here is all, all the way across. And the second row is every other bead, starting with the very first bead. Now this pattern is a pin wrap, which um, I mostly use for purses. So I leave it without an extra bead on the end. But if you are going to make it into a tapestry, you would want to have in this second row, one bead at the beginning and one bead at the end, so you'd want to make this one um, column longer. But I, I repeat it so I can leave off the bead at the end. And then the third row is straight across. And then to make making the graph quicker, I copy and paste the second and third row. And I do that four times. And then I highlight the five, starting with the second row down. And then I copy and paste that for the rest of it. All right, now once that is done, I go into pattern and click free form and that gets rid of the extra beads in between so you don't accidentally put color in those areas. And then um, I usually use my notepad to keep track of my row I'm working on. So right now we're going to do the first row and it is all black. So that will be this top row all the way across. We're going to want black. Then we'll bring this down. So the second row is showing, it is also all black. So that is these, you do all of them all the way across black. Then the third row, we have a white as the second one. So the first two beads, which is what the C is. Every, the odd rows, you. Or each one is two beads. So the first two beads is that first one. Then the second one, which is white, is also two beads. And then the rest of it is black. Now we go down to the next row, which is all black. So we hit all these. And then down to the next row, which we have the one white in the same place. So we'll do our two black there, then our two white, and then finish off with black. And we go down to the next row and we have a white. Now these are all one bead, so that's C, C, and then the A, and then we finish off with black. And then we come down and 
our next row is all black. And then here we have two whites, so we will do two C's, then an A, and then we have one, two, three, four C's. One, two, three, four, followed by an A, and then we finish off with black. Come down, and this one has a two C's and then an A, so that's a double, a double, and then an A, and then the rest is black. Come down, next row has one A and it's Yep, and it's in line with the other A, so we will just do black, and then the A below that one, and finish with black. Now we have two C's and then an A, so these are double again, two, two, then we have the A, and we have an A out here, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six C's. So that will be 12 beads. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then we have our A. And we finish off with black. And now we have our first B. And it is in fourth place, so we do three C's. A B. And we have three C's and then an A. And we finish off with black. Now I'm going to stop here. And I'm going to show you the advantage to setting up your piece in bead tool. Um, I have done them where I've beaded them directly from the peyote pattern, and that is possible on some pieces. But some, it's good to do them in advance in bead tool because then you can clean them up. For example, here, this you want to be sort of a straight line. But as you can see, these ones are doubled, so it kind of throws off the sort of smooth straight line. So what you can do is you can single them up. And then here, because this, you can single the bottom one, because this one connects it to the, it moving over a little bit. Um, and you would do the same with this one once you have more of the pattern and you can see which side you would want to um, single it up on. Um, some patterns have a lot of detail, so you will want to um, work at it as you go through the pattern. Um, I do have some pieces, ones, more videos I'm going to be up, putting up, and in it, it has small detail, which I will be showing you about actually moving part of the design um, so that you can make it work better with the overall piece and the fact that you are doubling up the beads here and there. That will be in one of the next videos, but uh, this one shows you how I convert. You can either, like I am doing here, um, have it digitally on the computer and then use something to keep track of your rows, or you can have it on a paper printed out and then, you know, follow it that way, whatever way is easiest for you. But this is how I convert um, peyote pattern to cross weave using bead tool four. Uh, please watch for more videos that I'm going to be putting up to give um, some more ideas. So um, I hope to see you there. Happy beading.